Welcome to another camera comparison. So I've got the Xiaomi 14 Ultra up against the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Front facing cameras now, 4K 60 frames per second. I'm swapping the audio sources so we can listen to which one sounds the best. So stability wise, which do you think is the steadiest here? I'm gonna go for a little short jog now, testing out stabilization again. And the other thing to point out is that I bought all three of these phones and I couldn't care less which one wins. I just want to find out which phone is best at what. Rear main cameras now. So the stabilization across all three, of course, is optical and electronic with our main cameras here. Difference in megapixel count, 50 versus 200 versus uh, 48 with the iPhone. So going down these steps here, which do you think is the steadiest? Now audio again checking on that wind noise is a very light breeze. We should not hear any wind coming through with any of these. Now I'm going to swap over now to the ultra wide cameras which you can do on the go on the fly with all three. So this is now the ultra wide which is just electronic image stabilization. And I'm going to pan around here very slowly hopefully no dropped frames. I have noticed that with the Android phones they tend to drop frames even though they have very powerful processors, fast storage, just seems to be a common issue. And now we'll check out our zoom cameras. So this is the three times here, 3.2 with the Xiaomi, three with the S24 Ultra, and it's two times with the iPhone. Take that up to now five times looking at these rocks, five times here with the S24 and five times with the Xiaomi with its 50 megapixel cameras. You can see we're not quite pointing at the same, there we go, the same kind of area. Now, stabilization across all three is good. And I'll take this up to now 10 times. So we've got 10 times zoom with the Xiaomi. Okay, so that is mostly optical, well, half optical, half digital, 10 times as well with our Samsung. And then finally the iPhone, a little tricky to do. There we go, that is now, 10 times looking at that quality. It looks like uh, definitely not the Xiaomi with video. It's either the iPhone or the Galaxy S24 Ultra. 8K video now at 30 frames per second with the Xiaomi and the Samsung. Now this is something that the iPhone cannot do and that is 8K footage, but I'm recording just now at 4K 30. So which one do you think is the best here out of the Xiaomi and the Samsung? I've noticed that the focus on all three seems to be good. When I get this post here in the center, you'll see it locks on there nicely. Focus transition across all three does look to be pretty good. And now just a bit of a panning test because this is especially at 8K where you might see some jitter coming through, not looking as smooth as it should as I pan around, which I'm trying to do nice and slow here, of course and just a very light jog test too. Testing stability at 8K, 30 frames per second. Low light video. So this is 4K 30 because normally low light performs better with lower frame rate because it was 4K 60, probably would not look as good as this. So just walking along, which one looks the steadiest? Certainly the quality is not as good as daylight now. And the brighter areas looks a little bit better of course and in the darker patches now I'm gonna head over here where it's a little darker and just pan around really slowly and check out the sky which one has the most noise here hopefully no drop frames either when I pan around over to our selfies now so the Xiaomi is overexposed as you can see so that's third place the iPhone has the best stitching here, the most detail, skin tone a little off. The Samsung skin tone is not quite there either, and it's a pleasant looking photo, so it's kind of a draw between the iPhone and the Samsung there. And then rear portrait photos, again the Xiaomi looking a little too soft, don't really like it. It's between the iPhone and the Samsung. I think the iPhone has the best stitching, it's a little over sharpened. The Samsung I think is the most pleasant portrait photo here. Of course, this is subjective. So with this photo, you can see that the Samsung and the Xiaomi are very similar. The iPhone's the only one that is different here, but take a look at the iPhone photo as I crop in now. Look at Vera's chest, 
around her nose and stuff, there's different shades of white. And this is correct because she loves to roll in the dirt. She's got a little bit of dirt in that white coat. So it's not a brilliant white. There are different shades to the white and dirty areas, which the iPhone is the only one that captured. So it got the win here. This is a super difficult shot for any camera to get and it is testing the bright red hibiscus flower here for clipping in direct sunlight. Now the iPhone's the worst, it clips the most. Focal point was always the same on the pedals and it looks like, and it is, the Samsung that has the least amount of clipping of those different shades of red. Second place is the Xiaomi. The same flower now but I tapped to focus on the yellow pollen and I used macro mode. So the Xiaomi overexposed again. This is a very common theme here. There's a lot of clipping, doesn't look good. A little bit of clipping of the reds with the iPhone and overall it is the Samsung that has taken the best and most pleasant looking macro shot. Photo of the rocks here on the coast. All three look good at first glance, but focus on the Xiaomi and you see that it's actually a bit overexposed, just a little. The iPhone looks very good. It got the colors more true to life. This is what I saw and it's the more correct looking photo to me. Second place is our Samsung, also really good combination of both. But if I'm going for color accuracy, the iPhone here pulls ahead. Normally it's warm, but in this case it isn't. Zoom cameras now, so five times optical on all three of them here. Then I've taken it up to 10 times. It's looking like it's the Samsung is the sharpest looking image there. A little bit over sharpened though, they tend to do that quite a bit. And then at 25 times, I had to do this because that was the max for the iPhone. It's the Samsung that looks the better of the three with a few more details. Samsung looks quite washed out. The iPhone is, yeah, there's lots of noise in all of them. They're all terrible at 25 times. Let's face it, they all look bad here. So here's another shot where you've got a nitpick here. Let's face it, they all look very good. I like the background blur we're getting on all of them. I think the Xiaomi has the more pleasant blur. And second, the iPhone. Now colors, it really comes down to colors with this one because they all have a lot of details. They've all got good sharpness there. The exposure's good on all of them really. But the more natural colors here that I was seeing was actually the Samsung. The iPhone's just a little too warm. The Xiaomi very close, but I mean, they're all neck and neck. They really all did a good job with this shot. And cameras and a very good test of the HDR capabilities of each one of these. I find the iPhone captured the clouds the best, but a little bit dark in the shadows. The Xiaomi, the clouds are not the best there and some of the areas need a little bit of work. I think the best, again, this is subjective, is our Samsung S24 Ultra. Low light samples now. So all three of them, they've got a lot of problems with noise, over sharpening with the Samsung, but the Samsung has the least amount of lens flare. iPhone, you can see the lens flare all over the place where that little bulb is, the ball of the pillar, not looking good. There's also a little bit of that with the Xiaomi, not good either. The Xiaomi handles the background the best with the least amount of over sharpening. However, the sky on the iPhone and the Xiaomi is greenish. And then it's kind of purple, blackish with the Samsung. So all three of them, not very good. I have to pick a winner, right? I'd just say just, only just the Samsung here because it doesn't have the lens flare issues. Low light zoom, and this is five times across all three. Now you can see that the Galaxy looks, to start with, good. There's a little bit of over sharpening going on. And then the iPhone also looks very good. But when I crop it now, the iPhone's got a terrible amount of noise with that five times camera. Uh, the noise reduction with the Samsung is good. The Xiaomi as well has a bit of noise there, a little bit blurry, not quite as sharp, but it's very hard. So it's between the Samsung and the Xiaomi. I think here because of the colors being a little bit more true to life, it's the Xiaomi that gets this one for five times low light zoom. So this one I wanted to focus a little bit on the white balance and on the sky. This is why I intentionally took this shot here. So straight away the Xiaomi got the colors right. This should be a warmish tint to everything because those lights are warm. The sky looks the best here. There's a little bit of lens flare with the Xiaomi. The iPhone, if you have a look where it says Malavita, just look below that. You see the V of those lights that are above reflecting there. That's the horrible lens flare thing that's happening. The Samsung doesn't have that lens flare, but then the Samsung Sky, again, this is, oh, they always do the Samsung 
purple looking sky. It's just off, okay? So that is why in the end, it's the Xiaomi. Least amount of lens flare, well, second least, and just the best colors and better looking sky. So recapping now, these are my findings. Audio quality, that went to Samsung. It was the best. The iPhone struggled at times with its poor microphones. The Xiaomi, this could not handle the light breeze or wind, very bad wind noise. Vlog footage with the front cameras, so that for me was the Samsung. Rear main camera and ultra wide, that went to the iPhone, which didn't drop frames and didn't have the jada, it was a lot smoother. However, the zoom video, that went to the Samsung. Zoom photos, Samsung as well. Low light photos, the Xiaomi. Portrait photos, well, it was very close between the Samsung and the iPhone. I think the iPhone stitching was the best, but sometimes a little too warm the colors. So I'd give that just to the Samsung there. So what do you think about my findings there? Do you agree with me? And if you did or didn't, let me know in the comments and I do hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.